What's going on, folks? Hope you guys are enjoying the past few videos that I've been posting as of recently. Like I said, I've been in New Orleans, Houston, been filming Houston, but then I also did that MTV Slam, which was a lot of fun as well. Today's gonna be a stay at home, chillax day, but that doesn't mean today's vlog's not gonna be good. I wanna start off today's video by showing you guys this beautiful work of art that Mystery Tackle Box sent us. So freaking awesome. This is kind of the centerpiece of the house. If you guys didn't really get a good look at it, essentially there's a knife on there, uh, some headphones that say dope beats, a head of lettuce, a tank with a Hello Kitty flag on it, a tiny fish that says flare fish. As you can see, the whole freaking board is basically just one giant meme. I had so much to do today that I kind of took an off day. I got my little editing station right here. Boom, ignore the tissue box. I don't know why that's, I don't know why that's over there. Um, oh, I also have to stay home too because we got a bunch of broken stuff in this house. The dude that rented us this house just left a bunch of broken stuff. The garbage disposal is broken. Along with that, Flare Knife's bathroom doesn't even have a light and there's no way to remove it with the tools that we have at the house. So as you can tell, this house has got some, uh, some corks. And, and here's the real kicker. This is the thing that really bothers me. This projector that we got for our movie theater room, the room that was supposed to be my favorite room, is broken. We brought this thing new too, so I don't know why it's being so lame. Yeah, oh, and before we kick off today's video, a lot of you guys requested that I finally put this thing out on the rig store. So here it is. And along with that, I don't know if you guys noticed in yesterday's video, but I wore this little uh, leather wristband and it's actually got like the rigged fish logo stamped in on it. That was actually made by my mom. So huge shout out to my mom for making that thing. I think it's freaking sick. I might even get Rob a Lunkers TV one if he's nice to me. Everyone needs some form of meditation for me. It's fishing and watching movies and being able to have like literally a personal movie theater in my house is, it's like one of those just surreal moments. As a kid, I would have died if I had one of these things in my room. Okay, here's what this thing is, is really all about. Cosmos, by far the best Netflix series to watch on a giant screen like this with surround sound. Oh my God, this is insane. Like, unreal, just <laughs> so cool, man. Anyway, today really wasn't my most intense filming days. For the most part, all I did today was stay in, did some laundry, edited some videos, watched some Netflix. It was kind of one of my lazy days, but even on my lazy days, I want to be productive. I want to try to get in the habit of filming things without there being some sort of epic punchline. This past trip in Seattle when I was fishing with Rob on the Hunt Hump Tulips River, I managed to break this iPhone 7 right here. It actually got so wet that it broke. I had a bunch of pictures on there, had a bunch of video from the trip, and I was never able to make that into the video. I was super bummed out. But when I went on my computer to back up some of my like previous images, I found some like really, really, really old iPhone pics. So as I was scrolling through some of these images, I thought how neat would it be if I pull out one of these pictures, put it in the video, and put a story behind it and kind of tell you guys what happened. Right now, I'm going to go on my laptop and go through some of the photos that I kind of hand selected or from past iPhone recoveries. Let's start off with probably the most infamous picture. This was a picture that I thought would never see the light of day. The infamous truck in the ditch experience that uh, Peric and I got ourselves into when we were up <laughs> in Ontario. For those of you who haven't heard the full story, check the link in the description below. I'll leave the podcast where Peric and I talk about it. But essentially what happened here is Peric and I Got a loaner Tacoma from Toyota. They allowed us to use this truck for the duration of the Never Stop Tour, which was this week-long filming excursion that we took with Wes Davis from Badfish TV. Perrick drove a Tacoma off the side of the road with a boat attached to it. This was about a five to six hour dilemma. Here's the picture of the whole catastrophe. Perrick emphasized that he did not want me to take any pictures, but the moment was too freaking beautiful not to do so. That's the picture from that whole experience. There was some video I believe maybe taken. It's not on my phone, maybe Wes has it. Who knows the rest of the evidence from that, that moment went. Here's another pic from the Never Stop Tour. This is uh, Wes, again, the dude that filmed all the episodes when we trekked up to Ontario, Canada. This was our stop at Mille Lacs, I believe. And this was right before like a serious, serious lightning storm and we were 
out in the middle of Mille Lacs fishing for smallmouth. We were on like a really nice school of fish and all of a sudden our line starts shooting in the air. Wes's hair is standing straight up. So this is a picture that I snapped of, of Wes before we potentially were about to be stuck, struck by lightning. We honestly to God thought we were gonna get hit by lightning and all the signs were showing that uh, we should have gotten off the water, although we didn't and we finished the episode. So that's, that's a hilarious picture. That is a freaking classic. Here's a really, really old picture. This picture is old. This might be from like 2012 or 13. This was back during um, when I used to fish tournaments as a kid. This was a small shore tournament that our club had. This was like at the end of the day, <laughs> I was flipping these mats that I now wading in as you can see right there. And I was doing pretty good. I figured out like this quick flip bite. I'd caught like two flip fish that were about two pounds. And all of a sudden I get like this giant bite. I said hook and it's like a six pounder. And I get this thing on the mat. And as soon as I get it up on over the mat, it pops off and it's just sitting there. The fish is literally sitting on this grass mat. The grass mat is so thick that the fish is sitting right on top of there. I think for a split second, and all I can think to myself is, I'm not gonna let that fish go. I remember getting kind of a running start. I don't know why I did a running start, but I kind of like backed up because I was a little freaked out. I was like, I was kind of pissed. I pulled like a Micah Canelli or an Alex Perrick and kind of like threw my rod down. And I jumped in the water on top of the fish, had the fish, no joke, for about two seconds until it broke my grass. But that picture is hilarious. So that's me swimming in the mat. I was smiling, but deep down inside, I was dead. There you go. John B jumping in the grass mats for for six pounders. So these pictures are just like, they bring back such good memories. And I didn't even know I had these pictures. That's what's so cool about them. Here's here's this, this picture's, this, this will make you scratch your head. This is a picture of a chatterbait. And on the back of a chatterbait, I've got a piece of dead shrimp. Um, this was from last year when I was fishing with Aaron Weeb from Uncut Angling. We had this bright, or I guess I should say, he had this bright idea to go and fish, I think it was the Mud River, or I forget what river it's called, but it's like this really dirty river. Um, near Man in Manitoba and they had like this big drum derby. I don't know why he wanted to do this drum derby. It was like this two day drum tournament. Uh, I think we came in dead last with like a 13 pound drum. I think what won it was like a 20 pound drum. But that was one of the rigs that I had cooked up for these fish. Um, needless to say, I didn't catch anything on that, on that rig, but we did catch some pretty good sized drum and some pretty big bullhead catfish. Here's an awkward picture of Flair. I don't really know the story behind this picture, but it looks like he's about to, uh, Ride some really sick, gnarly waves on a uh, on a ski do. I don't know. I don't know why that that picture was on my old phone. I don't know why it was on there, but that, there it was. Here's another major throwback. This is an old picture from one of the first Bass in the Ponds tournaments I used to hold way back in the day. Um, I don't know if I filmed this one, but basically I would invite like a bunch of you know viewers, friends, and I'd get them all together and I'd hold these kind of for fun tournaments for cash and prizes. And this was one of them. Like we're literally taking this picture in my front driveway of my old house in Illinois, and it's just so crazy. Like I made those little plaques and I gave away rods. It was such a cool experience. I think. Yeah, actually, Perrick's in that, isn't he? Yeah, Perrick's in the front holding his two little trophies. Perrick was the one that was winning most of these tournaments. They weren't rigged. He just happened to win most of them. Um, let me know if you guys think I should bring those back. I think it'd be kind of cool to hold like subscriber bass in the ponds tournament. The whole mindset is just go out there, fish a bunch of ponds from the bank and have a good time. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm cutting it out, I'm calling it quits and I'm going to bed. All right, this last picture is majorly awkward. I don't know what's going on with the hair. Uh, not sure what that face is, but the concept of this picture is that this was a sweatshirt that I basically designed myself. It was the first ever official article of rig clothing that was ever designed or produced. This was back in college. I pretty much drained my bank account to get this thing designed, printed, and then sent to my dorm room. The logo ended up turning out like crap. I didn't like it at first. I was like super bummed. And I was like, I can't sell these. This looks goofy. The reason why I like this photo so much is this is literally the first ever piece of clothing that I ever printed for rig. I think I still have it. It's back at the house in Illinois, but I think that was crazy. Like this is, this is nuts to think how far it's come now. And yeah, I'm gonna leave today's video off on a great note with that awkward picture. That actually has some pretty interesting meaning behind it. So, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I'm sure you guys can understand, but I always have to reiterate it. I can't always go out in the water and do some fishing videos. It's just, you know, things get in the way. Broken projectors, garbage disposals that don't wanna work. But if you enjoy these type of videos every now and then, let me know. Tomorrow, well, I guess today because it's like 3 a.m., um, I'm going to be going on a two-day road trip with Rob. We're gonna be doing some fishing, I believe, in Northeast East Texas. 
I don't know, but hopefully we can crack on some toads. These fish are betting right now. So the potential of me breaking my new personal best, shattering that eight one pounder that I caught on the Brazos River is very, very possible. Hope you guys look forward to those episodes. And as always, my fellow anglers, keep fishing, never stop. Thank you.